yeah, it looks Nick, very we're nice. My best friends, we start to plan what we will do. Hi, my name is Lisa, and welcome back to a new video. Ooh, I here I am again. I've been uploading super, super inconsistently, but I'm back again, I guess. And I am launching my own personal like knitting crocheting separate account i'm not sure if i will also change the name of this youtube channel yet i will have to think about it but i'm launching launching lisa's knit club oh i'm super excited about this i wanted to take you along in the process of me making my first ever knitwear for a shop oh, if you would have told me one week ago i think i would be so like scared and in shock about it but it happened that last week i was walking with a friend in amsterdam and i entered a slow fashion shop and the woman working there who owned the shop she was so nice she was incredible uh, and she told me that she loved the cardigan that i was wearing i was wearing the white flower blossom cardigan that i've shown also on my channel before and she told me that she loved it so much and that she was looking to buy um, stuff like that for her stores and I told her well I made it myself and then she asked me if I could make um, like some cardigans for her store to sell so that's amazing uh, I never expected that my product would end up in a shop um, but yeah here we am now so I'm gonna make two flower cardigans for her um, well I'll start with one and then see if I can make a second one uh, to sell in the shop and yeah, it's something I am very excited about to, to start. Uh, I will make a black one with daisies first. I think this is just so incredible and it was so random because I just entered the shop and, they, and she asked me about it. So that's really the coolest thing uh, ever. So yeah, I am going to pick up my yarn in a bit because it got delivered to a delivery point somewhere in my neighborhood. So yeah, I'm gonna go on my bike and get that yarn. Picnic with my best friends. We start to plan what we will do. Now life's back in color. And everything's my room is a super brand new. big mess. And I'm going tonight to Museum Nacht, which is like museum night, uh, which is such a fun concept where museums, they open at night and you can visit them. And yeah, I'm really excited about it. I haven't been to some muse museums in a long time, so yeah. But I've actually finished two sleeves already. I guess I can put them on, even though it's not a commission. Well, it's like not, it's not for me, but I sometimes have to put them on to see like the way that they would uh, fit since these ones are going to end up in a shop uh, and not made for a specific person I just made them in the size that I usually wear which is like a small medium but I made them quite oversized yeah I found it really difficult to choose a size because as I said before, I don't know who will eventually buy it. Maybe I will end up taking it home myself if no one will buy it. But yeah, so I just decided to do the size that I am familiar with. But um, yeah, if you want anything custom in your size, you can DM me and we can like negotiate um, something. But yeah, back to what I was saying. I made two sleeves and uh, I have started working on the back piece now as well um, Which doesn't work up quite as quickly because it's not in the round so I have to switch like between knit and purl stitches But yeah, I'm not gonna die doing that. I just have to make an effort <laughs> a bit more Well, I read that the French always say what's on their mind Leaving lipstick stains on tall glasses of wine Practically invented, being nonchalant for fun They tear apart Voltaire just like afternoon croissants Strolling over bridges that were built in red 
Also, for everyone who is already following me on Lisa's Knit Club, thank you so much for supporting me! That means the world to me since I only started the account a couple days ago and some people are already following me, so yeah, it's so amazing that it's no longer only family members but like actual people outside of my own world, so that's super super cool and thank you so much for that. It's night, I actually have been sick for the past few days and I still am coughing a lot, so sorry for that. But I'm crocheting all the flowers um, tonight. I mean, I've basically done this project all before, uh, just not in the same colors and not in the same kind of chunky yarn. Uh, but I'm making the flowers the same way as I did in the Blossom cardigan one, so if you wanna watch that one still. And I'm really enjoying it. I'm happy that the cardigan is finally coming together. next morning and I've already attached some um, flowers on the cardigan and yeah I'll just put it on so you can see what it will look like I'm really liking uh, the result it's a bit difficult to position them in the right uh, way but yeah I'll put it on in a second yeah it looks very nice and I'm so in my sweatpants because I have class online again uh, I used to have some lectures in person, but COVID, you know, mm -hmm, so yeah. And there's my beautiful laundry in the back because uh, I really needed to do my laundry. But yeah, one side is basically, well, the front of one side is done. In the back, I have like only two flowers now um, and I'm going to make more of them during my online lecture. That's like the only good thing about online lectures that I can just knit stuff and act like it's a very expensive podcast. Feel the wind as we're going. I like spending these moments with you. Drive around laughing. It's finally done, the cardigan. Um, I really like the way it has turned out. I'm also kind of sad that I don't get to keep it for myself. But I think it's for the best because at this point I have so many like knitted clothes that I think it's enough. Um, and I hope that someone else will be very happy buying it from me. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous about going, I'm going to the shop this afternoon to drop it off. Uh, but yeah, this is the way that it looks. It took me, I don't know, like one, two weeks to make it. I knit it very slow because I was sick and stuff like that. So I really liked working with the chunky needles. I will do that uh, again for sure. And I love the way it turned out. It's very warm for winter. I think that in autumn you can even wear this just as a coat if you put it like a scarf um, around your neck or something. Broken ties hard in June, but I like spending these moments with you. Out of place, out of focus, all these sweet little moments with you. Out of this place. Stay now late All the things 
that I do All these little moments I'm glad I get to spend them with you Thank you so much for watching If you stay till the end, comment a daisy emoji There is one, right? Or another kind of flower emoji I love to see uh, who stayed till the end And thank you always for the support Don't forget to follow my new knitwear account at Lisa's Knit Club on Instagram and on Etsy very soon as well. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Stay safe and doi!